Hello everyone, my name is Sanket Zoshi. I am from PrepWorks. Today we are going to see the next hydraulic circuit which is called as meter out circuit. This is similar to the meter in circuit which we have seen in the last video but only difference is that here the flow control valve with built-in check valve will be in the outlet line of the actuator. Rest of the unit is similar to the meter in circuit. So first comes the oil tank then next comes the filter, then next comes the pump and motor assembly. After that, pressure relief for to relieve the excess pressure if it is going to be present in the hydraulic line. Then next comes the 4x3 solenoid operated direction control valve, which will be directing the hydraulic oil towards its required direction. Then next comes the actuator. This actuator is going to be connected to the either workpiece or tool or any other appliance whose speed is to be controlled. Now let us see how this hydraulic circuit works. As we can see here, the 4x3 DCV is in its closed position because of which the pump which will be pumping the oil from the oil tank, it won't be providing this oil to the actuator. Right? But if the DCV is put in its first position by activating the solenoid coil then the actuator will be moved in the forward direction at a controlled speed. Let us see how that actuator moves. Now here as we can see the DCV is going to be in its first mode of operation where pump port P will be connected to actuator port A dash through this actuator port A of the valve then actuator port B will be connected to tank port T. Because of this connection, the oil which will be pumped, it will be supplied to the actuator from port A dash because of which it will be moving the actuator in the forward direction by exerting a force on its piston. The oil which will be at the rod end side of the actuator, it will be leaving the actuator from B dash port and instead of going from this check valve, it will be passed through the flow control valve because during the forward stroke, the check valve will be in its closed position and that is the reason why the oil will be passing through this flow control valve and since the flow control valve is going to regulate the flow of the oil coming out of the actuator the piston movement will be carried out at a controlled speed the oil coming out of this flow control valve it will be supplied back to the tank from this particular pipe now let us see how the return stroke will be carried out now during the return stroke the direction control valve will be put in its third position where the pump port will be connected to actuator port B and actuator port A will be connected to tank port T. Because of this internal connection, the hydraulic valve which will be pumped, it will be supplied to the actuator from this particular channel and thereby opening the check valve, it will be entering the actuator. Now here, during the return stroke, it won't be passing through the flow control valve since the hydraulic oil passing through this particular line will be opening the check valve and it will be entering the actuator from this particular pipeline. Now, after entering the actuator, the hydraulic oil is going to exert force on the piston and it will be moving the piston in the return direction. The oil on the piston end side will be leaving the actuator from A dash port and it will be supplied back to the tank. So here in the meter out circuit also, the forward stroke will be taking place at a controlled speed whereas return stroke will be taking place at uncontrolled speed. So this type of circuit is basically used in most of the CNC machines like CNC lift machine, CNC milling machine, CNC drilling machine in order to control the speed of operation of either tool or workpiece. So I hope you have understood the content explained in this particular session. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can post it out in the comment section. Stay tuned for more videos and if you are liking the content of this channel, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.